Hello, it's Thomas again. This video is about an experiment that I did to extract passwords that are saved in Google Chrome using Process Hacker. This method can be tried on other web browsers too. This concept is related to memory forensics. What we do here is accessing the Chrome process and analyze for strings that are saved in the process. Simply extracting passwords from more time memory. This process can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. For this experiment, I have used Facebook domain as an example to demonstrate this activity. I hope everyone will understand the concept that way. We'll go to this link. What happens here is uh, we will type the email and password. Uh, for that, I have uh, created a test account. We can create a test account in Facebook for these pen testing purposes. I will use this particular account for our experiment. So we have email and the password here. I will just copy this email into here and the password. Copy it in here. We will just log in now. So here comes the password save prompt. We'll just click save. As a practice, most of the users save their passwords, user credentials in the web browser so they don't, don't need to waste time on typing it again and it makes it very easier for the user. We'll just ignore this stuff. Let's go to the settings. Click on the navigation bar. Here we have the autofill password. As you can see, the saved passwords are stored in here. So we can see the password, but it's hidden actually. If we click on show this password, you will get a window box prompting to enter in the machine login password. So basically in here, no one can usually get in to here and uh, see these passwords or get them. Or reveal them unless if they actually know your machine login password so we'll close all these so I have installed this process hacker this is a very powerful tool to monitor process like task manager it's a free and open source tool you can see a lot of process in here so I'm looking for the Google Chrome process here here we have the Chrome exe the process of Google Chrome. We can right click here and go to properties. In the Chrome properties, we can see a lot of the tabs in here. We can explore all of these, but we just need this memory contents. I'm not going to explain you about the other tabs as it does not align with the scope of what we do in here. Click on the string search. We can specify the string length in here to search for the password string. I will keep 10 here as the length and proceed. Now we got so many strings as results. It's like over 70,000 here. We can look for specific strings in here using this filter like passwords and stuff. As I mentioned you before, this process is like looking for a needle in a haystack. We have to search from here until we get what we want. As we can see, there are a lot of password strings in here. I assume we have to check each of them to find out whether we get what we want. There are several SQL queries are present in here. These SQL strings are probably would be the one that sent to the server to retrieve data. It can be any data. I'm not sure whether we can use it to find any important information. Anyways, that's some experimental task to try it out on some other day. So we have to go through these every string that we find some species. We have password value here. Let's check it out. Nope, nothing in here. Another password value. So in here I'm not going to show you by going through each of these strings in here since it takes a lot of time. We'll just uh, search our password string directly to see whether if it is there or not. Just copy this. Paste it in here. Nope. There are nothing. Let's close this and search back in here directly. Use the filter here. Paste our password in here. Yep, here it is. Our password in plain clear text. So let's look at this address and uh, let's search for it in here.
so yeah we can find it in here too if we go inside this so this is what i wanted to show you so as we know the password we can just type it and uh, search for it like this but in the real scenario we have to go through each of these uh, strings to first to find some several passwords like this like i said it's looking for a needle in a haystack So for you to double check in here, the password and the string here are both the same. So there's another task left to do. I will show it in here. So for that we will just close all this. Let's go to the settings again. Go to auto fill, passwords. So we will remove the saved password from here and see whether if it is removed from the process too. So we'll close this too. So we don't have to close this one because it's updated in real time. So let's follow the same steps and see whether we have our password. Whoa! Seems we got more results than the previous time. So probably the reason might be I got too fast when searching for the strings in the previous time. Because we have more than 83,000 results in here, but previously we only had 78,000 plus. So clearly I have missed something when I searched for the strings before. So this particular string is, I think uh, this is the uh, request that uh, the browser made to the server when we log in after typing the credentials. In here we can see the password and the email too. So that way your credentials will be compromised to anyone that have access to your PC. So this vulnerability cannot be patched or cannot be fixed by developers. This is a method that forensic investigators can use to obtain sensitive information from the volatile memory. So that concludes the video. Hope you have learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.